So we start with board three, where I was a little bit surprised at uh, the number of different contracts that were reached. This is a pretty straightforward auction. Um, it's a statement auction, and uh, you have 10 points when your partner opens one no trump, and you're looking for a heart fit. And I think everybody probably looks for a heart fit. What surprised me is when people didn't get to four hearts, have 10 points. This Jack Doubleton is what you're hoping to improve by finding a fit right, in hearts. And when it does improve, when you find this fit, I don't think there's any reason to invite. I think you just bang it up to four hearts. Jumping over to South Seat, I, some people ended up in no Trump, and I, and I didn't really look at their auctions, but it's important to remember, South, you don't have a choice of whether to show your better major, right? You bid your four cards up the line, and that's because if you bid your spades first, nobody's ever going to believe that you have hearts. Um, and then you miss the heart fit here. Now, if you get to three no trump, you make in this case, but imagine uh, a, a slight switch in the club suit where you don't have a stopper. Um, think of it this way. If you find a heart fit, your spades, which are your best suit, now become your, a, a great source of tricks for you in a side suit. Now, here, of course, you get, you know, it's proven out when you get a spade lead, right? which you're not going to get probably if you bet them. Right? And suddenly you pick up the king of spades and you have three good spade tricks right there. Um, on this hand, uh, you've got good controls. You've got this diamond suit that's interesting. I Personally, I would just knock out, hope for a good split, play the ace king. Um, and uh, on this hand, you find out, oh, bad. So that leaves queen, jack of hearts, and east. But now you can just simply start playing and let them figure out when to rough in. Right? In the meantime... Uh, as soon as they rough in, they'll have one heart left and you'll make your contract. Here, I'll dump a club right, on that spade suit that we thought was, uh, you know, I don't know what we thought when we bid no trump. Or we, we, I mean, we, the four-card spade suit turns out to be, you know, the winners and the dummy that you can pitch on. This is basic card play. Now I'm going to, now I can even rough clubs myself. All right? I might go like this and rough a heart here. I mean, eventually they're going to get in and play their queen jack, right? But in the meantime, I can play up the ace of diamonds. Do I want to go ahead and rough another club? Lead the queen at the queen. If the king is in east, that's a problem. So I think probably I'll just go ahead and rough another. Um, if he comes in, I don't care. As soon as he comes in, I have my tricks. But if he doesn't come in, I have my tricks. We have another interesting board um, on five, another no trump uh, contract where I think everybody should be in four spades. I, maybe I was just, I mean, I was having problems with my internet yesterday. Maybe that has now affected how everybody bid the hand as well. But um, we have 8, 10, 12, 4, 16 points, an obvious one no trump opener, uh, accepting any invitation to go to game. Here we get a transfer to spades. Sweet, maybe we'll be playing in spades. And then our partner bids three clubs. So what he's showing here is an unbalanced hand. Probably would prefer not to play in no trump. Certainly five hearts, five spades rather, and at least four clubs. Probably has shortness someplace. Um, makes it real easy for me just to choose to go to four spades. Now before we move into the play, because there were some people that didn't clear four spades here. I mean, two spades. Sorry, didn't make ten tricks. Um, let's look at what the robot bid on. And by the way, I bid this first from South Hand, and I bid it the same way as the robot. I, we got we got a five-card suit in the dummy, right? We have a stiff in hearts. We have a four-card suit headed by the king. This is the kind of hand that you can't ignore, especially playing imps. Um, so um, so I, I have no problems here with... Up, aggressively upgrading this eight-point hand into a um, into a game-going hand. I'm, I'm literally in South Hand. I'm really not looking to play no trump. I don't want to play no trump. I want to find a fit. You start with the ace of clubs. This will be you know should clue you in right and out right away. Right that the clubs are two in east and three in west. Right. Um, hopefully, and indeed they are. But this means that we can't mess around and let him get a trump trick, right? Because the king of diamonds is out there already. Um, we can rough a couple hearts. 
um, but we can't let them start roughing any of this. So I think probably the smart thing here to do, it's not like we're going to rough anything with the, the seven of spades. There's nothing to rough. All right, so let's get a good break this time. And um, now we have two good clubs, right, because they broke 3-2. And, um, and we have a play for the Queen of Diamonds. Since we're over here, play the Ace of Diamonds and lead up with the Queen. Worst that can happen here is that the King is in the wrong place and you lose two diamond tricks, still making your 10. All right, so when we're playing imps, we often say it's important to bid your games, especially vulnerable, and um, um, because that's where the big swings are, right? It's by bidding a game, making 420, making 620, making 400, making 600, um, and then hoping that other tables don't get there. If they don't get there because they're not quite as adventuresome or brave or imaginative as you are, um, it turns out that they only get 170 or one, you know, or, or 180 in no Trump, and they don't get a good score, right? So the flip side of that is that if everybody is in game and you can beat the game and there are tables that are not beating the game, then you get a good score. Instead of 420 here for a spade game, right? Instead of being negative 420, if you can go plus 50 by setting them one, that's 470 points, which converts into a nice imp score. So if you're north-south on this hand, and you went down one, you were supposed to. Okay, you were supposed to go down one. If everybody beats it, which it should happen, it's a flat board. But what happens is most people don't beat it, and I don't think that uh, I don't think uh, the defense is that hard. But I thought it might be fun to talk through it. So we're passing. We have a four point hand with three diamonds, and uh, you'll have a decision here on whether to bid these diamonds or not. Um, I'm going to stay silent just because I'm curious to see what happens with the spades, and I can always come in with the diamonds if they end up in a different suit. So I'm going to pass, but I would not begrudge a three diamond bid. Um, partner rebids diamonds. Wow. So what does he have? He must have at least six, right? So that's ten. Plus, to go to the three level, voluntary, he's got points as well. So I have four points. My partner has at least, I'm going to give him, I mean, let's give him 12, just a minimum opening, right? 16 points. That leaves 24 points for north south which makes a good game bid, right? Um, it seems like it's very important here with all of our diamonds to get the ace of diamonds immediately. We don't want, somebody's gonna be short in diamonds north, south way, without a doubt, right? So um, let's get our diamond trick. If it's there, we're always gonna get, if they start pulling Trump, we're gonna get right back in and we can make a switch uh, if it seems that that's appropriate. And the ace of diamonds is stiff in north. And the jack of diamonds fell. And at this point, and Wes should wake up and think, whoa, what's going on? Um, I know my partner has long diamonds, and uh, he has at least six. I had four. That's ten. That only leaves three. It looks as though South has at most one diamond. At most one diamond. So essentially, he is a three-suited hand. And this is really important right here and right now. If he is a three-suited hand... Okay, then that means he's not going to be able to get rid of his heart of any heart losers. He's not going to be able to get rid of any club losers. Um, he's going to be having to play this hand. Now, if, if he's got doesn't have the ace queen, then they're sitting in my partner's hand, and that would be swell. He could have the ace queen, but to my mind, he's going to get him right because nobody can dump the hearts. Right? If my partner has ace queen of hearts, he's going to get him. And I'm thinking, I don't want to do something that the declarer's got to do anyway, right? Instead, I want to switch to the other suit that's curious, right? Now, my partner has, the, from the ace and jack falling in the first trick, we know that only five of my partner's opening hand, the opening 12 we're giving him, right? He's got seven points left. What if those seven points are the ace, king, and clubs? And that's where I would go next. I'd leave the club. And I get rewarded, right? An aggressive play, trying to look for that fourth trick of a rough. Right? One, two, three, four. And that's it. Ace of spades, club rough, 
ace king of clubs. I think you can deduce all that. That's just good defense, right? Playing imps, don't worry about giving up an overtrick, right? Um, here, you're looking, you're, you're cutthroat. You're looking for that to be able to use those long spades that you have. And the only way you're going to get to use those little spades is if there's a club rough. You're never going to be able to rough hearts, right? If you lead a heart, swell. If you find your partner with the ace and the queen, doesn't really matter, right? If he is, that's where his six points are then that's what you get, the ace of spades and the ace and queen of hearts, right? Because they're not going to give you any diamond tricks. And if you have the ace, queen of hearts, then you don't have the ace, king of clubs, right? So that's all you'll ever get. So playing on the hearts is a losing proposition. Instead, you've got to envision those seven points or so as being in the club suit, because then if he's got ace, king of clubs, then you know you can get a rough, which is the only place that another trick can come from.